I am having some illusions. My Parkinson's. I've been have, I've had Parkinson's for 18 years now, and it's changed over time. This is a new symptom. I see people being there almost all the time, so I am vividly imagining things. But they're not scary, they're not threatening. I do find that I miss my privacy. And I imagine there's people there all the time. I miss my privacy because there's, there's other people there. And some of them are stay there all day and night and they're, just, they're, they're always there. They're, they're not people that I know. Some of the people are the same, some of them are new. Most of them are the are going to come back. There's one who's in the backyard, and I can see her from one window, and we're friendly, and I can't see her from another window. I go to the second window, she's gone. We're friends, we're friendly. Because we, we, we look at each other. So that's scary. They're just, they're just there. The, the areas that are colors and shapes that I'm looking at, there's bigger dots, like bigger pixels. My brain is very busy drawing in all of the necessary colors and shapes to to give me the impression that there's someone there. One of the things I find interesting about it as a painter, I have a picture of a photograph. There's a cloth that was laying on the, on the couch in the shape of a face. That's the outline of the face profile. It looks just like semi abstract. It was lovely. Simple simplification of the face, but it was it looked like a face. And the sense that someone was there. And that's the main difference between the way it is now and what it was before. Now I I feel like there's someone there. I was able to see the image of the person and the image, the image of the cloth that was making the profile. It turned the illusion on and off by looking at it closely. So that was, that was a positive sign. I could see when it was an illusion and see when it was not. I'm not to rely on what I see for, to give me accurate information. I am hallucinating.